Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TCA24 News. Today we are overlooking the Storm Prediction Center's high risk for Western Tennessee. It seems that with the risk they added on, long track tornadoes and some can be violent. Hail can be the size of baseballs. And winds can reach up to 80 miles per hour. With all this, the Memphis National Weather Service has stated that a tornado watch will likely be issued around 11 a.m. this morning. Make sure to delay travel plans until the weather clears. Have weather radios, TVs, and portable radios on you if you must travel. This is a PDS outlook. With this we can understand whether risks are important to pay attention to. Especially even if it's a small risk. By what we can see, we have a high risk which means very intense and long-lasting storms. Tornadoes can be very large. Western Tennessee can expect widespread long-tracking storms that can last for hours. Make sure that you have all the supplies you need for today. If you don't, you are in for a very long day. Put your vehicles in your garage. The storms are expected to begin around 12 p.m. Do not travel unless you absolutely need to. Take this event seriously and be ready. There is a high risk of severe thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Long track tornadoes, very large hail, and destructive winds are all likely this afternoon into the evening hours.
And now for the hazardous outlook from Tuesday through Saturday. For today and tonight, there is a high risk of severe thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Long track tornadoes, very large. Welcome back to TCA 24 News. We are currently tracking the severe thunderstorm in Shelby and Tipton counties. It seems the storm is a line of severe thunderstorms. This is known as a squall line. They usually produce tornadoes. This storm seems to be approaching Rosamark as we speak. People in Rosamark and surrounding areas, if you are watching, make sure to get to the lowest floor and stay away from the windows. This storm may intensify so be careful. It is a supercell as we speak and it is getting stronger. However than this, more thunderstorms are in Madison County near Denmark. This storm could also intensify. We are monitoring all of these storms for you right here on TCA 24 News. Please be careful of the current approaching storms. Well would you look at that, a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for Madison County. It seems the storm is located over Denmark and looks to be heading towards Jackson. We will keep you updated on this new storm right here on TCA 24 News. As of now, two severe thunderstorms have been located on radar and we are currently tracking them as best as we can and keeping you guys updated with all the information we have. The storms do both seem to be intensifying. This could mean possible tornadoes for each storm. Make sure to stay inside and be careful. These storms have history of producing hail. Impact, hail damage to roofs, vehicles, and trees is expected. The severe thunderstorms will be near Lucy and Brunswick around 12.40 p.m., Millington around 12. Weather Service in Memphis has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Madison County in Central Tennessee until 1.30 p.m. At 12.46 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Denmark, or 14 miles southwest of Jackson, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and golf ball size hail. Source, golf ball size hail was reported by the public. Impact. Hail damage to roofs, vehicles, and trees will occur. People and animals outdoors will be injured. The severe thunderstorm will be near Jackson around 1.25 p.m. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Jackson Madison County General Hospital. Move to a room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch 164, effective until 10 p.m. This watch includes the following counties in Tennessee, Shelby, Fayette, Tipton, Haywood, Madison, Chester, McNary, Hardin, Hartman, Henderson, Gibson, Crockett, Lauderdale, Dyer, Lake. Welcome back to TCA 24 News. We are tracking the storm in Madison County with our close eye as it approaches Jackson. It has only been a few minutes since the warning came out, but people at this time are concerned if a tornado will come from this storm. Memphis is trying its best to give good warnings to the public as soon as possible. This is a terrible day for everyone under these storms. Remember everyone, this is a high risk. Tornadoes are likely in all the storms we will see. Don't be surprised if they issue any tornado warnings. Wow. The storm we were watching got tornado warned. Everyone in Denmark and surrounding areas need to take shelter now. This tornado could reach the ground. Make sure to stay tuned to weather radios and us right here on TCA 24 News for updates on this storm. At this time people in Jackson should be seeking shelter in a safe room or basement. For the storm in Shelby and Tipton counties, it seems the storm is weakening so people should be able to come back out to the surface. Be aware that this day is far from over. Thirty miles per hour. 
hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and golf ball size hail. Source, golf ball size hail was reported by the public. Impact, hail damage to roof, vehicle. Memphis has issued a tornado warning for Madison County in southwestern central Tennessee until 1.30 p.m. At 12.51 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Denmark, or 14 miles southwest of Jackson, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and golf ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. People and animals outdoors will be injured. The tornado will be near Denmark around 12.55 p.m., Jackson around 1.05 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Jackson Madison County General Hospital. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio on coverage of KUAR 89.1 MHz. This is broadcasted by the National Weather Service Office in Little Rock. Now the forecast for central Arkansas including Little Rock, tonight, showers and thunderstorms likely. Some thunderstorms may be severe. Lows in the upper 60s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 100%. Saturday, showers and thunderstorms likely. Highs in the upper 50s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 40s. Sunday night, snow. Lows in the lower 30s. West wind 30 to 40 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 100%. Monday, snow. Highs in the lower 30s. West winds 20 to 30 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 100%. Monday night, snow. Lows in the lower 20s. Chance of precipitation 100%. Tuesday, snow. Highs in the upper 30s. West winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 90%. Tuesday night, light snow. Lows in the lower 30s. Chance of precipitation 70%. Wednesday, mostly cloudy. Highs in the lower 40s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 30s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 40s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, clear. Lows in the lower 40s. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now the hazardous outlook for the Little Rock region. Tonight, there is a high risk of severe thunderstorms for areas in southeastern Arkansas and western Tennessee. Large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes are all expected. There is a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms across the rest of the coverage area. Large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes are all likely. Spotter Activation Statement Skywarn spotter activation will likely be needed through this afternoon and tonight. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio on coverage of KUAR 89.1 MHz. This is broadcasted by the National Weather Service Office. For the following counties, in Arkansas, Pulaski, 
Saline, Hot Spring, Grant, Dallas, Calhoun, Bradley, Ashley, Drew, Chicot, Desha, Arkansas, Monroe, Phillips, Lee, Jefferson, Lone Oak, Prairie, Woodruff, Cross, Cretendon, and St. Francis Counties. Winter Storm Watch in effect from Sunday night to Tuesday afternoon. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a winter storm watch, which is in effect from Sunday night to Tuesday afternoon. Locations Pulaski, Saline, Hot Spring, Grant, Dallas, Calhoun, Bradley, Ashley, Drew, Chicot, Desha, Arkansas, Monroe, Phillips, Lee, Jefferson, Lone Oak, Prairie, Woodruff, Cross, Cretendon, and St. Francis Counties. Hazard Types Heavy Snow Accumulations, 6 to 10 inches with locally higher amounts in Drew County. Ice accumulations up to 1 inch are possible. Timing, heavy snow should begin around Sunday night into Monday afternoon. Winds, 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts to around 50 miles an hour. Visibility, less than a quarter mile at times. Temperatures, in the lower 30s with wind chills around the lower 20s likely. Impacts. Dangerous driving conditions that could result in crashes. Blowing snow will lower visibilities to less than a quarter mile at times. Do not travel. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. This is a tornado emergency. The National Weather Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for Monroe County in northeastern Arkansas until 2.15 p.m. At 1.12 p.m., spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado over Casco, or 18 miles south of Clarendon, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, deadly tornado and ping-pong ball size hail. Source, weather spotters. Impact. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Hail damage to roofs, siding, and trees. The tornado will be near Casco around 1.15 p.m., Preston Ferry around 1.20 p.m., Aberdeen and Holly Grove around 1.35 p.m., Duncan around 1.40 p.m., Clarendon and Blackton around 2 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include TNS Sawmill, and Louisiana Purchase State Park. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors. Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Welcome to AKR89 News. We're overlooking the tornado warned storm for Monroe County. It appears this tornado is currently on the ground and becoming bigger. This came out of nowhere with no watches. There was a watch for western and central Tennessee while there was none here. People weren't aware of this storm forming. The National Weather Service has been trying to give accurate warnings and watches but they didn't think Arkansas would need one. This has been a very long day. Snow is expected near the Memphis area which could mean a blind tornado if it snows and one shows up there. It appears that the weather here is changing so we could see clear skies by 3 o'clock this afternoon. This could be the reason why no tornado watches were issued for Arkansas. The brilliant minds of the Little Rock National Weather Service issued a winter storm watch for eastern Arkansas. It is so strange how snow and tornadoes are both down here at the same time. This weather has been so unpredictable and crazy. Barely anybody has any ideas how this is possible. Even we are considering things, so far we think it is climate change. But the southern states are naturally hot. In my honest opinion it is crazy on how this is happening. I would have never expected this in my lifetime. But I am so glad to be a part of this. Many people in the towns underneath this large tornado are gonna be in for a long shot. This tornado even seems to be growing as we are saying this. We are gonna have to see soon what the weather service will do about this. It has only been a few minutes anyways. Husky, Saline, Hot Spring, Grant, Dallas, Calhoun, Bradley, Ashley, Drew, Chicot, 
Desha, Arkansas, Monroe, Phillips, Lee, Jefferson, Lone Oak, Prairie, Woodruff, Cross, Cretendon, and St. Francis Counties. Hazard Types, Heavy Snow. Accumulations, 6 to 10. until 2.15 p.m. for Monroe County in northeastern Arkansas. At 1.12, we were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado 18 miles south of Calaridon, moving northeast at 30 miles an hour. The source was the trained weather spotters and our local weather station and radars. Make sure you take shelter in your local basements and anything that you can find that is perfectly safe and substantial for yourself. The tornado is heading northeast at 30 miles an hour. Make sure you are prepared and take this warning seriously. It has been a few hours now. The storms have diminished and only a few causalities occurred. The vile and tornado was classified as an EF5 on the enhanced Fujita scale and will come as one of the most powerful tornadoes of 2021. This day will be remembered in history as the winter outbreak. The high risks, the snow, the tornadoes. Everything like this was something we could never have imaged in our heads. This day was very crazy for many people and everyone is so glad it's over. Time is 6.37 p.m. Central Standard Time. Few lives were lost in Kershka due to unpreparedness for the tornado.